Vice President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris have both been in North Carolina separately already this year, and now they're coming back tomorrow. They'll be here at the same time. And it's happening just as the Supreme Court is considering a critical case related to abortion. Our Capitol reporter Michael Highland is live in Raleigh with a closer look at what we can expect. Michael. And the two will appear together here in Raleigh tomorrow afternoon talking about health care, not just when it comes to access to abortion, but also former President Donald Trump's calls to try again to repeal the Affordable Care Act. President Joe Biden returning to Raleigh, this time alongside Vice President Kamala Harris. The two will speak about health care access and attend a fundraiser. Governor Roy Cooper and other Democrats have pointed to former President Trump's calls to try again to repeal the Affordable Care Act, as North Carolina is implementing expanded Medicaid coverage for lower income people. That dream come true could turn into a nightmare if Trump wins. The trip will happen the same day the U.S. Supreme Court hears arguments in a case dealing with a commonly used drug in abortions called mifepristone. A lower court ruled the FDA didn't follow the right procedure in making it easier to access the drug. Tammy Fitzgerald is with the North Carolina Values Coalition and filed a brief in support of the groups that brought the case. We need protections for women and girls in place, and the FDA has been negligent. Planned Parenthood says millions of women have safely and effectively used that drug since it was introduced. Republicans in North Carolina recently approved restrictions on abortion after 12 weeks of pregnancy and require in-person visits with a doctor to access medication for abortion earlier than that. David McLennan is a political expert at Meredith College who has polled voters about this. People are pretty split in North Carolina about the 12-week ban, the new law in North Carolina. But any threat to more or to access to abortion, I think, could work out to the Democrats' advantage. McLennan says he also thinks by having the president and vice president appearing here together, this could also be part of an effort to blunt some of the speculation about whether President Biden would replace Vice President Harris on the ticket and make clear to people that they will indeed be sticking together. Rod and Angela. Uh, Michael, what are Republicans saying about the president's visit? It would adhere from a spokesperson for the state Republican Party, and he pointed out saying that people's paychecks aren't going as far as they used to and then pointed to the issue at the border with immigration and said that the president's agenda poses a threat to families. All right, Michael Hyland live for us in Raleigh. Thank you so much.